Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome or oh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Patrice and this is my Embellished Life. This week's episode is a very special one as I am going to take you along my sewing journey for Simplicity 3823. Yes, it's finally completed. It's finally completed. I've persevered and I've completed my birthday dress. Well, one of them. <laughs> so I'm going to take you along with a sew with me and I hope you enjoy it. So if that's something you're interested in, let's get in it.
I'm just popping in quick, quick, just to give an update of where I am so far with my birthday dress. Um, I think it's going pretty good so far, I think. <laughs> um, so far, I've managed to complete the, the bodice po uh, portion of it, and I'm currently putting the skirt part together. So, just going to show you the top first. So, here's the top front part of the top and it's made with um the denim fabric and i have the the top part for the the halter which is going to be um fasting using snaps and then here's the back part of it here's the back part of it where i've did some um color blocking so to speak with the the denim and the printing material. So this is the top so far. And I think that I may have to go back and as uh, <laughs> I slap myself with my <laughs> the strap, I think I might have to go back and um, take apart the, the, the back section of it and let out some of the seam. I'm not too sure as yet. I think I think it might be a tad too small. I'm, I just have I'm just having that feeling. It's not fasting put together as yet because uh, a side seam, not a side seam, a side zipper will be here. So it's not fasting as yet. But I don't want to let out anything until I've uh, attached it to the skirt and try it on. And then after I've tried it on, then I'll make that decision. So here is the top at the moment. And I just, I'm just loving the effect right now with the color blocking and, and the denim. I'm loving it. I'm loving it so far. And this is actually the first time that I'm doing inserting boning of any kind in any of my garments. So here's my boning. I'm just going to put it back because it's not stitched down as yet. I'm not sure if this is the correct boning. Um, this is what my fabric store had. So this is what uh, um, I'm using at the moment. <laughs> but um, we'll see when I try it on, how it fits and, and all of that good stuff. <laughs> now, the bottom part of the, of the outfit, let me just get myself together here. <laughs> okay, now here is the bottom part of, uh, of the dress. I think this is the top part. Yes, here we go, it is. So the bottom part of the dress is using the printed fabric. I do love it. I'm so excited to see it put together. So, so far for the dress, I've put the right side seam together. The left side seam is also together with the opening because, like I said, it will be a side zipper. I've inserted my pocket. Yes, I have. I have inserted my pocket and I'm, I'm excited about that. <laughs> um, I'm only inserting the pocket on the right side as yet um, currently um, I haven't done it to the left side as yet because of the side pocket and not the side pocket the side zipper and um, to be honest I don't remember how to insert a pocket um, in the same place where there's a zipper so I have to and I'm not sure whether or not I've done it before. I don't think I have. So that's something that I need to research to see how exactly to get to get that done. But if not, I know one pocket is in <laughs> and I can live with that. Also, I've started, I've gathered the top part. I've also completed the gathering stitches in the top part. And also the bottom part of it because remember I'm doing a, a bubble dress so the bottom part is where I'm going to attach the inner skirt to, 
to it, which is shorter, which is the, the lining that I have. So this is where the gathering has to fit in order to stitch, to be stitched. And I'm so excited to see the effect. Now with the lining, I've put in the dots and they are pressed. And so now it's just a matter of me to connect the inner skirt and to put, to do the gathering to attach this to this. And then I can put on the top and make a decision there. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's go. completed so now I need to just sew it down and well baste it first and we'll see how it is but that took me a long time <laughs> now I just need to do the top as well and connect the top the borders and we'll see how it goes all right <laughs> suspected the bodice is too small <sighs> so what I did I went back and I actually tried to I tried to um, decrease the seams but the, in decreasing the seams, it kind of uh, offset everything else. So when I tried it on, my upper portion of the bodice isn't fitting properly. It's uh, the part where I had to insert the, what you may call it, the boning 
in it it's a bit off school because it's a bit baggy and you can see the bagginess outside um let me show you this one like in this side panel um there's some extra fabric that's in it <sighs> yeah so what i think i'm going to do is that well not think what i'll have to do if i want to wear this dress and i want it to fit i'll have to cut over the the bodice again luckily i do have uh, some fabric so I, so i'll cut the top over again i'm so disappointed you see this is why i tell you i have misadventures and shenanigans in my soul <laughs> But I, I honestly don't know. I mean, I I thought that I cut my my correct size. Maybe I didn't. Well, obviously, it's obvious. <laughs> it's commonly pinned. But it's looking so pretty so far. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, I'll, I'm so loving it right now. And I'll turn the back my back with the back panels and you can even see that it's slightly off skewed in the gavin so i need to fix all of that but this is what it's looking like so i'm excited for it so that's what i'll do today i'll do the top bodice and i'll try to um connect it again and see how it fits this better fit because i have <laughs> I've invested so much time in this, but there's something different that I did. I did a deviation from the pattern. Now, my original dress, bubble dress that I do have, I noticed that in the, the skirt section that uh, elastic was added into it. So that's something that I did in with my dress. I did add some elastic to, to the bottom. And uh, I, I am happy. I, I am happy with that. So this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to actually cut over the bodice and stitch it back over again. Pray for me, guys, <laughs> with this dress. When I'm finished with this dress, this better be a million dollar dress because I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, but uh, let's go ahead and cut out a bigger size of the bodice and see if I could salvage this whole entire project. All right, so let's go. All right, guys, so I've cut out the bodice again and I'm ready to stitch it up. Now, when I usually have my patterns, if I don't trace out my patterns, what I usually do is that I would fold over my patterns to the size that I would want just in case <laughs> something like this happens again and I know I should have um, cut out maybe a test muslin because I've never made a halter before but it is what it is so now I'm just gonna go over and stitch everything again here we go
you have it, my friends. Simplicity 3823 is finally completed. It is finally completed. I had so many twists and turns with completing this dress, this dress sorry, but uh, I am so glad that I persevered and it's completed. So, I finally get it, got it completed. And here's the back as always. And we have the dress, the length. Now, I'm not too pleased with the length. It's a bit longer than I would like, but I found a way to to shorten it while I'm wearing it. Since, it, since I've inserted elastic at the bottom, I've just resorted to hiking the dress up a bit to my desired length and um, putting it in place there. So that's not a problem at all. One mishap that I did with the dress is that instead of putting in loops for the buttons as required in the instructions, I opted to use buttonholes. My mistake was I forgot to put in um, interfacing to stabilize the buttonholes. So I have to be a bit careful with my, with my buttonholes. That's the mistake that I made. But I'm so happy with my buttons. I covered my buttons with the, the printed fabric and I absolutely love it. So, like I said, um, I had to adjust the top, well, I had to make over the bodice and uh, I'm happy with um, the outcome of the fitting of it now. So, with that, I think I'll insert some photos so you can see the finished product and then, yeah, I'm out of here. So thank you so much for joining me with my first Sew With Me <laughs> dress. It's been quite a learning experience filming a Sew With Me. That is all that I have to share with you today. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe all right I hope you have a wonderful day enjoy the rest of your week think lovely thoughts keep on smiling and always remember to make beautiful things all right <laughs> all right lovies I'm out of here bye